One of the funnest championships that we have going in the world of motorsport is Fun Cup. And I'm here with Chris to tell us more about, uh, well, for the people who out there who don't necessarily know what Fun Cup is, let's start from that, shall we? Sure, absolutely. So it's a, a one-make endurance championship. Every car is identical. So it's very, very close racing. And really, because you can't keep throwing money at the car, it's all about who is the best team, the best driver out there. Tell us about these love bugs. <laughs> these lug bugs are powered by a 130 horsepower engine. The way with a full tank of fuel, maybe 750 kilograms. Uh, kilograms, yep. Um, built from the ground up to be a race car. So handling wise, they're incredible. Really, really good fun. You sit right in the center, best driving position. And because of the shape of the car, it's shaped essentially like a brick. So the lack of aero in lots of ways is a really good way to make the racing very close. So as soon as you overtake someone, they can just sit in your toe and you pull them around and they will battle with you at the next corner again. So it's just ongoing, makes it really, really good fun. And literally the racing is obscenely close, isn't it? You have some make like you have some big names, don't you, pedaling? We certainly do, yeah. We tend to get quite a few professional drivers coming in. Um, it's quite interesting to see how they get on. Uh, I think some of them get a bit of a shock sometimes at the same time, but at the same time they give fantastic feedback because uh, it's so competitive. They often bring in drivers there, maybe instructing themselves. And because you have so much seat time, it gives them such a good experience. But at the same time, because we do have the pit stops, the mandatory pit stops, that creates an absolute element of chaos and absolute fun. Drivers being thrown on the floor all the time. Oh, it's just brilliant fun, brilliant fun. So funny. I It was last year, wasn't it, I think, that I came down and did one I think I presented once last did, year, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it is so funny in the pit stops, literally like pulling, oh, yeah. pulling guys out and they're like, you're guys. flinging them on the floor. And the smaller guys are okay, they can hop in, hop out, no problem at all. But when we get Dave in, <laughs> he turns around and we literally just launch him. It's, it's the quickest way to race, so it's what we have to do. I absolutely love it. Um, you've got a competition running, right? We certainly do. So. It's been running for a few years and we're still waiting for it to take its first victor. So essentially, if you're a brand new team coming into the championship and you win your first ever race, you win £10,000. If you come second, you win £3,000. And if you come third, I think it's £1,000. You still haven't had a victor. We haven't, no. No, we had one come close this year. They did a lot of training at, at uh, Silverstone, getting used to the car and so on. And they were going really well. They got into the lead at one point, so the old man was a bit nervous. Um, but I think the, the pit stops, the lack of experience in the pit stops was a bit of a shock to them and I think they, they lost quite a few places there. But um, you know, they put on a very good show, it's probably the closest it's been. But no, first, second or third is still there. So if anyone fancies a go, come on down, try it out. Once upon a time, now quite a few years ago, we almost put in an all-female team and uh, maybe we should relaunch that and come and win it. That would be very very satisfying <laughs> that would be nice you know there is some there is some good female drivers in the championship i was going to say i mean i think uh, zoe burke's had a cracking season as well so we had an all all female team if you fancy it <laughs> fun cup yes so 2020 season tell us about that, tell us about that. okay so Where? Most of the major UK circuits, um, we've actually included Mondello Park this year. So yeah, over we go into Ireland, but it's, um, that should be good. We, last time we went there, I can't remember where it was, but I years ago. There, yeah. Last year, I did an Irish tour um, and drove the Audi R8 around. That's a great circuit, yeah. isn't it? We've only had good feedback about it. So we, we did Zandvoort last year and the year before, so we thought we'd try a different circuit this time. So, yeah, Mondello's on the cards. Other than that, Alton Park, I think we have two four-hour races there. Uh, Mondello is a double-header, so two three-hour races. We'll be at Anglesey at some point. That might be a double-header again. Uh, Brands Hatch, Silverstone, Donington Park, back there again, which I love. Fantastic circuit to race these cars on and the Snedderton 300 circuit. So I think, I think all in, we've got 37 hours of racing, plus testing, plus qualifying, so seat time, yeah, you, you can't really beat it. And how many entries? I don't know until next year. Roughly? Um, your grids are mostly Yeah, we, we tend to get between 25 and 30. Yeah, so we're hoping to be at the top end of that this year coming. So uh, we've had good interest so far. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we should be up there again. Why did you come and do motorsport days? Really, to try it out. We've not done it before. We've done the Autosport show, obviously something very similar before. Done it every year, I think, for the last 10 years. Tend to do very well there. Uh, motorsport days was something, you know what? 
we'll give it a go and see what it's like. I'm really happy it's on. I think it's, it's good to have something different than the Autosport show as well. And I guess any chance to market, why not? Good. Well, Chris, thank you very much. One day I shall be behind the wheel of uh, the love bug. Yes. See you then.